friends, it's me. The lighting is so weird. I am here with Digital and we are going out to do a video and have some fun, but mostly do a video. <laughs> So I thought it would be a good idea to go to different boba places because you know that's what I always do I always go to boba places tea places drink places and Vegas has a lot there are a lot of them today I wanted to go to the best one and the worst one there are so many different drinks I could try so I don't, I don't really don't know how to calculate this calculate it's a big word for you you is a big word for you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before we do any of that, we are headed to Target because I didn't have a bag that matched my outfit. So I wanted to buy like one of those like brown straw bags. You know what I'm talking about? It's like kind of like I my hat. Bags. bags. I got some shorts. The other Target that I went to didn't have the shorts. I'm looking for jean shorts. I desperately need some jean shorts. Nothing ever fits me. Oh, bathing suits. Don't even get me started. Oh man, hats. Can I upgrade mine? You just got that one. You need this one. This? You need. You need this. The visor version of your Ew, hat. No, no, I already look like a mom. This is what I came here for. That one? No, not this one specifically, but I mean, this will have to do, won't it? Does it match my outfit or no? No. I think it matches. No. No. Hold on. What's wrong? I look so miserable. I want her back. It's like they're all gone. Is there more product in here? Oh my god. Oh, there is more product in here. But they need to unbox it. Go ahead and unbox it for you. What the f is wrong with you? They haven't unboxed it yet. Look, you like unboxing video? Oh my god, You're being super loud. Oh no, there's more bags over there. Oh, and just when I said I was going to avoid the bathing suits, here we are. Why are you going to avoid bags. the bathing suits? Do I have enough? Oh my god. This is stinky cute. Stinky cute, okay. Yes. Like ash. Ash is stinky cute. There's gotta be more. I refuse to believe that's it. But where are they? I always do this. I always walk by where I went before, just in hopes that there will be something I missed. Or it'll magically pop out of nowhere. It's so simple what I need. And I can't find it. Like I will even settle for like a small brown plush. I will even settle for this if I have to. But I would prefer not to look at matches my shoes. How much is this? Seventeen dollars. Why is this literally the only thing this color? There's nothing else this color? This was much harder than I thought it would be. It wasn't supposed to take this long. Like I'm actually confused. So the shorts fit kind of not really. No they didn't fit. Wow. But it's like <laughs> Because <laughs> the waist is like it's so big and like the butt is like really tight But it's like I feel like if I just wore it a lot it would stretch out or I could get a bigger size I think I'm gonna get a bigger size It's so weird because Target's shorts like I tried on a size 2 the other day And then the size 2 fit in some styles and then this is a size 4 and that doesn't fit And I need a probably a size 6 so I'm gonna go get a 6 right now and yeah I don't know if they'll have it actually Wow would you look at that they have a double zero a zero a two and an eight Where is my six. This is the outfit. Do I look like a mom? You look like a mom? Yes. No, I think it's just very weird because I don't see you in outfits like that, but no. it's very momish. Especially the hat. But you pull it off. No, the hat makes it I'm nice. a cool mom now. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> very large son to the arcade. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ready to lose? No, you're gonna, you're gonna lose. You're like. What? You think you could be in Connect 4? I'm so good at Connect 4. Nah. You're done. You've never beaten me in a game. Yeah, okay. We both thought we were good at this. The computer is better. It's too smart for me. <laughs> Automatically calculates the best place to put it. It gave him several chances. We made it to our first stop. We are at one of the worst rated boba places in this city. There was one that I had in particular that was one star and it ended up being closed. Because so it was so bad? Yeah, that's what happens to like most of the restaurants that I've been to that were one star, like they end up just closing. So, I mean, it's like uh, on Yelp when you hit one star, it's like, that's it, we shut this down. So, this one is like three stars, which was one of the lowest ones that I could find because, I don't know, there aren't a lot of bad places because they just end up closing. So we're gonna go to this one, a three star one. It's in a nice area, it's like a very touristy area. The place is really cute. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, so I ordered three 
three drinks. It came out to fifteen eighty six, which is not bad at all. Usually my drinks cost like I don't know. They go from I don't know. I would say like five to seven dollars if you want like some good boba. So they were saying they couldn't make the teas less sweet, which is something that's really important to me. Like I don't like it when the teas are already like pre-made. I am a tea snob. You're a tea connoisseur. I am a tea connoisseur. So I have very very high standards for my boba. I saw some girl just like walk by and she was just like, oh my god, that drink has boba. I want it. I'm like, no. There's like so many different kinds of bobas and so many different kinds of teas. In an ideal world, or in an, <laughs> in an ideal tea place, they brew the tea fresh. Like you order it, they brew it fresh, they shake it up with ice, and then they mix it with whatever you want, you know? In an that's, ideal world. That's what a five star place for me is. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for my drinks. All the drinks on the menu looked really, really amazing. Yes, I'm recording. It took about 15 minutes to get three drinks, which I mean, I don't know, is that good or bad? That's kind of, I felt like we were waiting a long time. Mm. Sorry, I was thirsty. So the first one we are trying is the regular boba milk tea with egg pudding. And if you don't know what egg pudding is, it's basically like, kind of like flan. And they just like put some in the drink and it's really good. And I like the texture, it's like pudding in your drink. I told her to make it the least sweet that they could possibly make it. This is very sweet. I don't like my drinks sweet. I would have rather had an unsweetened milk tea, but they couldn't do that, so. I can't really taste the tea much. All I taste is sugar, sugar and boba. Mm. It honestly just tastes like they watered it down because I asked them for <laughs> less sweet and they just added water to it. This and will it make looks, it less it sweet. Very thin. Yeah, it makes it less sweet, but it doesn't taste much like milk tea. Yeah, it just tastes like water plus milk plus sweetener. The egg pudding is good. I like it. This is plain green tea. This one they could do unsweet because, I mean, almost all boba places have a plain tea. Here comes the damn train again. We came to like the loudest place. This is really delicious and I love it. What is that? There are basil seeds in this, peach bits, mango bits. Did I get pineapple? bits I might no lychee I got lychee bits in it this is really delicious I'm gonna keep on I'm gonna keep this drink this one's the one I'm really excited to try so this one is actually a blended drink so it is like a pina colada so it has bits of real pineapple blended in it that face says it all so I would have really enjoyed this with real milk, but they made it with coconut milk. And this is the one drink that I wish I actually got sweet because I think it would have been good. It's like I want to like it because the texture is good, but I don't like the taste. Actually, you know what? I would drink this. This place wasn't bad at all. I'm gonna get some of the sweetness from this. Is your first time having boba? It tastes like watered down milk. Yeah, exactly. It's watered down. They hella watered it down. Yeah. Look at his eyes. You see their eyes when they look at you, oh my god, because the flash is on. Hey, kitty cats, oh my god, look, it's like, oh, so scary, they're like heartless. So we ended up at a buffet, and this is my first plate of food, and I got a clam boil, whatever that is. It's got shrimp in it. This is like a mini shepherd's pie. It looks bomb. Okay, so their tea is super cute. Wow, that's delicious. The boba, the milk tea made fresh, got me shook. Next up, I got the white grape oolong tea, which I don't see too often, so I wanted to get that. So how you drink this is you take the little heart thing off. I like to put it right here. So you put a straw over here. So there's three spots on the top of this cup. So one, you put the heart thing after you take it out of the drinking hole, and then this is the straw hole. And then you drink cheese tea at a 45 degree angle, so it's like, Mmm, really, really delicious. So you get some of the tea and you get some of the cheese. White grape is probably not my favorite, but I don't see it too often, so I really wanted to get it. I think a jasmine tea would have been the best, but it's different. Their cheese is not the best I've ever had, probably because it was sea salt cheese. Usually I just get cheese, which I prefer on the sweet side, but people like their cheese like salty, some like it sweet, some like a little bit of both. I like a little bit of both or on the sweeter side, but I, I'm not really getting most of it. Either way, it's refreshing. Hey guys, so we just got back. I got my milk 
tea. This is another five-star boba tea place. Oh my god, this is so hard to do this video with like food in front of me and stuff. It's like, I want to get on with it just so I can eat. I'm so hungry. I got this drink too. I like almost finished it in the car. It was much prettier before, you know, I ruined it. But let's just start with this one before we get into these ones. Because this is my go-to drink. Like this is what I get almost every day. This is just matcha mixed with jasmine tea and then they put the cheese on top. And by the way, when I say cheese tea, like I'm obsessed with cheese tea. But people hear it and then they're like, ew, cheese? You put cheese in your tea? It's actually like cheesecake. So think of it like a cheesecake whipped cream. And you drink it with your tea. And I put aloe vera in mine, which is basically like chunks of cut up aloe vera. And you drink it like boba. So... I get some of the cheese, I get some of the matcha, and I get some of the aloe vera. And it's so delicious. Like, this is the most delicious drink. And the cheese, the cheese dummy thick. Mm. Saucer's looking at me like, taking his head. Why? It was gross. This is what I'm passionate about. Yeah, this place is my absolute favorite. However, I have never tried their milk teas. So today, we're just gonna knock out three birds with one stone. Wait, which one's that one? This one is strawberry milk tea. I want that one. This one is their regular milk tea, so just milk and tea plus boba and this one is taro milk tea which is insanely popular what's taro I, I am not a fan not a huge fan of taro it's like potato it's a beet how do you not know what taro is you lived in vegas for how long do i drink everywhere, boba no everywhere got taro okay, that so i've that never heard of that that's crazy how I, I don't understand digital is a pizza and spring rolls kind of guy so yeah. we're gonna cleanse my palate with this grand taco which is two tortillas they put melted cheese on it put a sauce, chicken, beans, wok, pico, and sour cream. This is gonna get messy. What a great way to cleanse your palate. That was way too good. I don't deserve food this good. I want you to hurry up and not like the strawberry one so I can take it. No! I'm I actually kind of excited about it. One. I love strawberry. I know, me too. No, hurry up. Just say it's disgusting because okay. I want it. It's so delicious. <laughs> like strawberry milk. Mm, the boba is very chewy. Can you mess boba up? Yeah, you can actually because they're tapioca pearls and you have to cook them. Some people don't cook them for enough time or use old ones and sometimes they're kind of hard or not the right texture or consistency. You can very easily mess up boba. I, mean, I was thinking about that place that we went to, the one, one two star place. Uh -huh. mm, horrible because I went to another place yesterday mm -hmm. and I had their milk tea. I was like, oh my god, this is bomb, delicious. And then it reminded me of how awful that first place we went to was. That was really good. I got these 20 percent sweet just because I wanted to put a little bit because I think they have to flavor them anyway so they have to make them a little bit sweet. Don't try this one? You want this one? Yeah, I'm going to try it. How do you not have boba? You probably like it more sweet. I would get this one. Yeah, it's good, huh? I like milk and I like strawberry, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, perfect. That's what uh, these are. These are milk teas. So it's just tea mixed with milk yeah, and then a flavor. Is it good? What do you I don't drink tea. Time? I would give this probably like eight or nine. Probably a ten if you got it sweeter. Time to cleanse the palate. They kind of put all the guac on one side. Try not to get all. You of literally the just guac. had all of it fall out. Mm -hmm. Next one we're trying is the taro milk tea. I'm not like super into taro, but this one. I can't get over the boba. Like their boba is so perfect. Like the consistency, the chewiness. If you've never had boba before, they're like chewy gummy balls. <laughs> I think that's a better description than telling someone they're tapi tapioca balls because yeah, if you would have just told like, me they're the hell is a tapioca if you would have just told me they're like chewy like gummy balls I would have been like hell yeah that sounds good. This is nice. I like it less sweet like this. Usually when you have a taro flavored thing, they make it too sweet. I feel, but this one is just perfect. Kind of feels a little thick, like the milk. The milk feels thick. I kind of like this one better than the strawberry, even though I love strawberry. It's very comforting. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, time for a bite. Mm, it's too good. Should be illegal to make your chicken this good. Way too delicious. Mm -mm, last one. What I'm most excited about is a regular milk tea. So this is just milk plus tea plus boba. Kind of wish I got this one a little sweet. But the boba is sweet and very little bit. So I depend on like the boba to get like the sweetness for the drink. How come you don't like it that sweet? Because I like to drink a lot. Oh, uh, and if it's too sweet, you won't drink it that much? No, because first of all, it's bad for you to have sugar in the drinks. So I can have more drinks and not put sugar in them. Second of all, I don't like it. It ruins your taste buds having a drink that's all sugar. And it's something that you kind of have to do over time. First start off by getting your drinks like half sweet or less sweet. Just so it's like seven. Like a lot of the boba places here, you get your drinks like 0% sweet, 25, 50, 75, or 100% sweet. So they go by percentage. Even Starbucks, like everywhere, 
anywhere I go to get a drink, I always have to do it like no sweet or like the least sweet possible. And I started this a few years ago where I would get my Starbucks drink half sweet because I didn't know they could do that. I feel like it makes you enjoy food more and like different kinds of food more because you're not like your taste, like I tell digital all the time, like your taste buds are ruined. You say, you because, swear my taste buds are ruined. Yeah, because they're not. I can't drink like a, like a full sweet drink and enjoy it. Like it just tastes like syrup to me. Like when I'm drinking something like that, all I taste is the syrup. But it's like when I'm drinking like a tea that's not sweet and like I taste the tea, I taste the milk, I taste like any notes in it, especially like with coffee. You taste like the fruity notes, you taste the nutty oh, notes, you Jesus. taste like, you know, well, I Well, you got this Michelin grade star tongue apparently. I know. I mean, I taste all that stuff too. It's just, I just, you know, I prefer like, sweet. I feel like I eat a lot of like pastries and sugar and I like sweet things. So I try to like not have it in my drinks, but have it in desserts and stuff. Makes so. sense. Okay. Now that you've had all three, out of all three of these, which one would be your favorite? I don't know. It's like, sometimes I would prefer this one. Sometimes I would prefer this one. The strawberry is good. It just kind of tastes like strawberry milk. I will prefer this one. This is the best. Okay, well that's not in the best drink in the whole world. That's this not in the running. That's not the question I asked you. If someone gave you an option between these three right now, and they said if you don't pick one right now, you can never have tea again, which one would you pick? It's between this and this one. The reason why I feel like this didn't have much flavor. I like the taro. The taro is really good, but it's like sometimes I would be in the mood for this one. Okay. I don't know. It's like if okay, I want something sweet, <laughs> I didn't have anything sweet that day. Okay, so. I would want the taro. Okay. okay. Strawberry is out of the question. I love strawberry, but like, that ain't it. So you would be in a committed relationship with the taro and then like have a side bay, which would be that one? No, this one would be my main bay and this would be my side bay. Okay. Yeah, because this is like, it's too sweet for me. Okay, so taro side like bay. a little too exotic. Okay, thank you for coming to my tea talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different. I kind of want to do more videos like about what I drink in a day or in a week. Cause I want to just like go out, like these tea stores have so many different kinds of drinks and like so many like infinite combinations that you could make. There's so many Toppings, so many flavors, so many teas. You can be a tea YouTuber. Mm -hmm. Here's that. I can't reach the camera, so I can't. Oh. Hit it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Smash like if I should do another tea video, like go into more tea places or like comment below. Let me know what you guys want me to do next. And I'm gonna finish the rest of this mini burrito. Because that's basically what it is. It's like a mini burrito. Thick. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.